Hey, welcome to EVA Trades. My name is Josh, and this is the April 25th trade review. And it's going to be a quick one because I was done six minutes into my day. Here we go. EVA Trades. Yeah, and it was way too quick for me. I was wanting to make some money today, but I did not. Instead, I gave back some money. Oh, well. Sometimes that just happens. That's part of the game, right? You can't have a winning day every single day. Okay, let's get right into it. My first trade of the day, uh, uh, other than pre-market, I did trade pre-market just a little bit. And let me just talk about that for a second. Pre-market, we had we saw some stocks moving pre-market, some moves that were pretty freaking phenomenal. I mean, some dips that followed through with higher highs. It was just amazing. Some pretty great breakouts things I haven't seen in a while. And I thought that that was going to carry on over into uh, when the market opened and it didn't. I mean, it was a total different market after the bell rang. It was choppy. It just, and I wasn't trading it like it was like that. I was trading it like it was pre-market um, and I got burned for it. I took my losses for that. Um, so let's take a look. My first trade after the bell rang was on BXRX, uh, the only stock today that I was green on after the bell rang. And it was a small green trade. I got in it as it was breaking out here, and that next candle wasn't going higher. It looked like it was going to fail, so I bailed on the trade, and I made about $20 on that stock. And then as I was in that stock, I jumped into CXAI here. Now let's uh, let's take a look at before I let me back up here, CXAI. So I had said in my analysis pre-market that CXAI, we had a five minute uptrend with a higher low and higher high, higher low, higher high. And then we had a lower low. So we lost our five minute uptrend. And so now what we're looking for, the most likely scenario is a lower high and a lower low, because that's what you get on a downtrend. Bulls would like to see a bounce up towards 943 and then form a higher low and a higher high and a breakthrough 943 to see continuation upwards. Bears want that little lower high and lower low. What would we get? Well, we would have to wait and see. But knowing that the most likely scenario is a five minute lower high is what I should have kept in mind. And that's what got me is that I just somehow mentally blocked that out. So let's take a look. My first trade on CXAI was not too bad. I got I got in it um, right, that's BXRX, let's see here. Okay, anyways, I got in it right here as it was breaking out. And right here, I was trying to sell half, but I have to do something with the Thinkorswim platform in order to be able to sell half. I have to cancel my stop losses, number one. And then I have to switch over to a single order versus OCO so that it doesn't place a limit order when I go to sell. It's really kind of annoying that I have to go through all that just to sell one position. And then, of course, I have to put a stop loss back in afterwards for that other position I'm holding. <clears throat> it's a whole lot of hassle. But anyways, that's just the way the platform is. So while I'm waiting for that to happen and I have code that I've written in my software that automatically goes and does that stuff for me, so I don't have to go click a bunch of buttons. I just push one button and my software takes care of the rest. But while I'm sitting there waiting for that to happen, this happens. You can see my PL was at $23 and now the candle drops down and now I'm showing negative 73. And so because I canceled my stop losses, I didn't get stopped out. I should have gotten stopped out when I was down 50. And so now my, my butt is sucking up if I may say that, because I'm like, oh boy, I could take a big loss here and I don't want to. That's not what I said, that's what I was thinking. And as this was going up and down, I'm like, you know what? I gave it a second, it did not continue higher. It, it wasn't pushing up fast enough for my taste. So I went ahead and I just took myself out of the trade for a $67 loss, unfortunately. So that puts me over halfway to my max loss for the day. I'm down 53 on the day up here, you can see that because I'm green on that other stock. So then it starts to make a move back up. So it's almost like I started to FOMO into this, but I did take a pretty legit trade though, 
because when this, you can see that one minute candle is about to end. Here's the next one as it's pulling back. I'm trying to get in it. Um, it's kind of a back test of the volume weighted average price. There we go. So now I'm in it. And then I'm looking for the breakthrough $9. Legitimate play. That's There's nothing wrong with that. That's great. <clears throat> it's continuation play. So then I'm watching it and it goes higher. And look at that. Beautiful, beautiful trade. And I wait for it to go um, up to 924. I take my profit. And now I'm only down 2176 on the stock. I'm down $7 on my days. That's pretty good. So I'm making a comeback. Great. This is where I should have left it alone because remembering that we're just looking for a five minute lower high. I shouldn't have expected a break through the high, but because I saw this strength coming in and because of what I remembered from pre-market and the strength that I saw there, I was thinking, okay, well, sometimes technical analysis, you can set it aside a little bit in the first few minutes of the day because you'll get a lot of momentum in those first few minutes and that can kind of negate the technical analysis sometimes. So you might see, you know, like the most likely scenario being a five minute lower high, but you could just blow right through the highs. So that's kind of where my mindset was not knowing that this was going to be a choppy day. So I'm kind of giving myself a little bit of a pass there. It is risky getting in, uh, in this area, especially since I just got out 10 cents lower. So I'm buying higher, but, looking for that break here and then it doesn't give it to me. It pulls back, it stops me out and look at that. Now I'm down 71 on the stock. I took a $50 loss there on two position sizes. I should have only taken one. And here I'm getting in it again because I keep thinking this thing has got potential. I think it's gonna go. I got in there at $9 as we pull back to $9 psychological level. Nothing wrong with that. It comes down, it stops me out again. <clears throat> And then, and I don't show it here because this is BXRX. My final trade on the day on CXAI, after I had gotten stopped out again, I'm down uh, $97. I'm down 83 overall. My max loss is 100, so I can afford to take one more trade. And I do right here. I'm getting in at the volume weighted average price because sometimes you'll see a candle like this in a pullback. It'll drop just below that last candle, come down to a support level and bulls by the dip and it starts to make a move back up. I've seen that happen a lot. But here's what I did not see and wish I would have because this would have discouraged me from ever taking this trade. That high red volume candle right there, that's a red flag that I should not have gotten into this trade. Now, I didn't see that. I somehow had blocked it out of my mind or whatever. I wasn't watching that. And unfortunately, I didn't see it till just now, actually. So that right there eventually stopped me out and my day was over because I hit my max loss. And that's it. That's, I got nothing else. I mean, that, that was the end of my trading day. Unfortunately, that's probably the fewest orders I've taken in a long time. And now you see CXAI here. I quit down in here in this area. Uh, CXAI, nice move back through the highs. Beautiful pullback to 943. Nice breakout over the highs. You could have gotten in here on this pullback and sold as it broke through the highs. That's what I would have done. Awesome. Awesome, awesome trade. I wish I could have gotten in that. But got to stop. I have rules for a reason. So this is my PL what it looks like. I had really nice success early on here. See all these nice stair step green candles up. Well, that's because the market was good. The market was hot. It wasn't so choppy. Uh, we've just been going through a choppy cycle lately. And you know, that my PL is showing exactly that. I thought that today after yesterday's lower wick and that move, nice move up and my all time highs. I thought that today would be a day where I would finally break out over this wick here over $1,100 and really start to take off. But unfortunately, again, the market just isn't giving that to me. So I have to take what the market gives me. And this is just the way it is until the market gets hot again. Um, it's showing signs of life. There's definitely some nice momentum pre-market, like I said, but just once that bell rang, it's like somebody flipped a switch and <laughs> it was crap. Okay, so here's what we'll do. Before I get out of here, 
So I lost $108. So let's go over to the data tab on Excel spreadsheet here. I already have this typed in. I'm going to delete 108. This is the same, this PL here. It's the same as what's showing over here. This is just the uh, more pleasant looking one and it has the charts along with it. But this one here is the behind the scenes. So, and this correlates to the million dollar road. So as of yesterday, I knew that I would be done with phase two um, if I continued on the path I was on by May 12th. And then I can move on to phase three where my profits double to, a, uh, my daily goal doubles to $100 a day. Um, as, because as with each phase, um, my profits double, my daily goals double. Okay, so what I'm trying to say is the date of May 12th is the date that I was supposed to be done with phase two based on my average profit per day, which does change. So that date is going to change as my PL increases or decreases. So with today's PL, negative 108 instead of May 12th, after I type that in, now it's May 22nd. And these other dates also updated um, to reflect the change in PL. So now that moves it out further. Now, if I have a hundred dollar day tomorrow and a hundred dollar day the next day, of course, that's going to move it closer. And that's what I'm hoping for. <laughs> we'll see what we get tomorrow. Um, fingers crossed. Really want to see some momentum. That's going to do it for me. That was my trade review. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you tomorrow morning for a great, great and awesome. It's going to be a good Wednesday right? It better be. Why won't my button work? Oh, I'm pushing the wrong one. See ya.